Hey there. Uh, I want to talk with you about one of my most in, uh, one of my favorite topics relating to the slider, the Kettlewell frictionless mouthpiece slider, where your lips sit on the slider and you move back and forth, so your lips aren't touching the harmonica anymore. It's a it's an invention. So <clears throat> it is friction free. This is called a cool ice model, but if, if you think about it, and I'll give you a demonstration in a moment, um, not only do you have no friction, but it has other unusual characteristics, which is as the slider moves, it cuts the airflow like a knife. And so you get a very, very crisp start to the note. But before I use the slider, I'll show you how I lubricate the heart first. I take this Hetman's Light Bearing and Linkage Lubricant 13, a teeny drop, touch it to my thumb, then I come here, and I touch it here to the mouthpiece. A very thin layer. Then I take the slider and put a little bit here. And it gives it just a little bit more slickness. Why is it called cool ice? Because it's like an ice cube. It's so slick. There is no friction really. Um, <clears throat> as you just saw, it can fall off. <laughs> and it can. Okay, now this one is quite large. The hole's large because these are this is an oversized hole. Uh, Pisardo Elite with an unusual mouthpiece that has bigger holes and allows me to drive more breath to the instrument and the high notes especially. But, cut of the note. Okay, so here's how this thing can cut a note when you go uh, to play a note. So the rest, r the lips rest gently. It's a very crisp start to the note. Now, let me do it without the slider. That's rubbery, wet lips. Okay, here's the slider. More precise, like a classical instrument. It has the same attack that an oboe would, or a flute that's mechanical. It's a, it's a click. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cut. Okay, of the air. Now, to show you graphically what we're talking about. This, so what I'm saying is, is that a conventional harmonica plays differently than one fitted with a Kettlewell frictionless mouthpiece slider because the start to the note can be different. This is on a standard harmonica. The, the lips are wet and rubbery, so the beginning of the note is the, as the air starts getting to the hole, it's kind of a soft start to the note, which is not bad. But on this instrument, it, it, it's a much more of a clip of the start of the note. And I can tell just by listening which is which. But suppose that I want to duplicate with this instrument the sound of a conventional harp at the start of the note. What do I do? I use a little bit of a tongue tap. So. Okay, so this was called the cut of the note, the start of the note. And again, conventional harp, very soft and kind of rubbery sounding at the beginning of the note, and at the end often too, but on the Kettlewell frictionless mouthpiece, much sharper like an oboe or a clarinet or a classical flute. So that is one of the unique things, and you saw again, this is the lubricant that I use for slide oil, and then I also use it for this. Um, the question of, you know, the validity of the invention of the Kettlewell frictionless mouthpiece, I, I, I don't know. I have a lot of thoughts about that. But I am going to say this is what it is, and it's different. And it has some unusual characteristics, and I thought you'd enjoy learning about the cut of the note uh, on a Kettlewell frictionless mouthpiece slider. Again, this is a P. Sardo customized uh, Elite with uh, gold covers, and it's a stock button, but an unusual mouthpiece with much larger holes. And of course, the slider has to match. Okay, so I can drive a tremendous amount of breath to this on the high notes for a crescendo in a classical piece. You have a great day. Bye.